Let's talk to Cassandra one last time. Same location, same method. I mean, lightning can't strike the same spot twice, right? <laughs> Try it again. Contact Cassandra. Connection to Control Unit Zero established. So, where were we? Analyzing. Ah, oh, that's right. We were talking about your carrier medium, the Dark Elix. How can you reverse the transmutation process after being bitten? My analysis of your metabolism reveals an advanced stage of transmutation without metamorphosis. This is abnormal behavior. I'll ask you again. Uh, wait. Wait. Oh, I get it. You don't know how it all works. You have no fucking idea, do you? You're not a control unit. You're just an executive body. A Skyam puppet. They programmed you, and they control your processes. That's it, huh? Comprehensive investigation in an appropriate research cell is vital. Of course. It's your scientists. They're wondering why I still haven't turned into one of your creatures. It's one of the reasons you want Dawkins, too, huh? Don't want him leading an even stronger resistance against Dark Elix. Hold your position. The curators here will take you into custody. Where is your prototype? Who gave you the damn order to look for us? Who wants to autopsy us anomalies? Analyzing. Who programmed you? Who's behind all this? Analyzing. Give me their fucking name! Contact. Enemy units detected. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Sensors detect no trace of Control Unit Zero. Hmm. Cassandra retreated. Maybe I was a little rough there. Well, activate enhanced security protocols, little guy. I think we found out what we can. Acknowledged. It wasn't a lot, but still. Now I know what we need to face the Skyans in Marakor. Sensors detect weak signal from direction of Betara. The former is sharing contact data. A message from the Sky Ants. What is it? Principal Teak awaiting arrival of second humanoid anomaly in Betara command unit. An audience with the Sky Ant elite, huh? Guess I piqued somebody's interest. Additional data packets transferred. Isolation active. Right. Leave enhanced security protocols active. Those sons of bitches will just try and take you over again. You better leave your visor closed until I've talked to Principal Teak. Acknowledged. We have to take care of ourselves first. I need a few good fighters by my side. Recommendation. Verify loyalty of comrades. Yeah. I'm afraid I'll have to do that before we go into battle. I can't afford to have any setbacks or betrayals right now. Thanks for the tip, pal. Stand by. Right now, we should tackle the biggest disputes in the lands of the free people. I suspect the Albs will take the side of the Berserkers sooner or later. The Albs themselves won't go to war. They need their forces to defend their Elix Depot. But they're sending their mutants onto the battlefield, and they can control them. Either we take care of them now, or they'll overrun us before long. I should talk to Patriarch Victor about it as soon as possible. Acknowledged. 
Let's get a summary of the tasks we have ahead of us. Stand by. I need to check the loyalty of those closest to me. I don't want a companion stabbing me in the back again. Ekrom needs my support in the battle against the Sky Ants. I need to put an end to the riots going on in the land of the free people. The sixth power must be able to work in peace. Most importantly, the biggest problem facing my faction needs to be worked out. We need clear heads. A principal called Teak wants me to visit him in the Patara Former. I'll need to be careful. It could be an audience with a Sky Ant superior or just a cheap attempt to trap me. I still don't know. It's about time we took Dawkins out. The sooner the better. Tell me right away if you track him down. Acknowledge. Last but not least, we need to get Cassandra to open the gateway to the main former. That's definitely going to be difficult. So let's keep going. We have a lot to do. Stand by. That could be important. Okay then, let's go. Block sticking. Critical risk. Follow me. We'd be it won't be long before we're at war. Will you still be fighting by my side when the time comes? How dare you ask me that? Well, I... I need to know. Oh, shut up. Of course I'll still be by your side. What else would I be doing, you idiot? Another ally to check off the list. Let's keep going.
Hey, come over here. Let me guess. Someone else you want to kick the shit out of? Not just anyone. My other bodyguard. His name's Brew. Been seen scavenging around the Ignadon ruins. Do I even want to know how he pissed you off? I was dumb enough to leave him in charge of business while I was away from the fort. Once he got a taste of power, he didn't want to let it go. Started small, you know, trying to undermine me, the insane. Then he decided that was too subtle and just claimed the fort for himself. Any outlaw still loyal to me was kicked out or killed. So yeah, I've been wanting to get back at him for a long time, wouldn't you? I'd tear his guts out, slowly, and I'd enjoy it. <laughs> exactly. And that's why we're gonna pay him a little visit. We'll have to be ready to fight as soon as he sees us. He's gonna know I'm not there for a friendly chat. Right. Let's go find this brew. Been wanting to settle this score a long time. supposed to be hanging out here somewhere. I know this area. It's pretty dangerous. Then we should watch out. Brew will attack us as soon as he sees us. was intense didn't go down easy I'll give him that but we got him that's all that matters and he was definitely an asshole you were right so that's another name off my list how many left we're not done yet that's all I'm gonna say I'll know where the next one is soon enough <laughs> she's a real piece of work she yeah I'll be in touch once I track her down. Jars. Umbro. Ergie. Amoloth. Jars. Another blackout. Oh. I should train my mind to prevent anything like this happening again. I'm probably better. What the hell is wrong with you? Almost time for the big battle. You ready for this? This is what I do best. Chaos. You think I'm gonna let you start this bloodbath without me? No way. Good. There won't be anything good about it. You can bet on that. And another ally. Let's keep going.
be going to Marakor soon. You come with me? Marakor? Are you insane? No way. Mm -hmm. Man, I guess you can see right through me now, can't you, big guy? Uh, of course I'll come. Not like I have anything better to do. I'll be there. Another ally I can check off my list. Let's keep going. We'll be heading to Marakor soon. You coming with us? Of course. The Sky Ants culture holds all manner of mysteries. I am eager to understand them. Thanks. I wouldn't want to do it without you. Likewise. Another ally to check off the list. Let's keep going. To all you lonely wanderers out there, stick to the path. Don't go into the forest from the unknown ruins and caves. The bandits on the road were the lesser evil. This is Herbert, broadcasting from the Orc. be going to war against the enemy soon. Are you with us? What? You want to keep all the fun to yourself? Fuck that. Of course I'm coming. Glad to hear it. Oh, don't get all sentimental on me now. Gives me the runs. And another ally. Let's keep going.
Follow me. Copy that. We're nearing the final, decisive stages of this war. Will you fight with me until the end? I can't say for sure that I'll survive. And I'm not that battle-hardened. But I'll try. I'll follow you to the battle for Marakor. Thanks for trusting in me. We'll see. It remains to be seen whether it'll end well for both of us. So you must be Principal Teak. Didn't know Skyans could speak our language. What has long rested in darkness has returned to the light of the world. 
Yes, we speak your language. And yes, they call me Tayak now. A designation of my identity. One that has not completely shed its roots. You were waiting for me. I called, and you came. Why now? Why haven't you tried to negotiate with humans before? Your attempts to infiltrate Cassandra were impressive. You are worthy of our attention. What makes you think you have the right to destroy our planet? It is as much our planet as it is yours. And we will improve it. Who are you? Where the hell are you from? The ground beneath you tells our story. But there are few who can remember it now. But why Magalon? Couldn't you have found another world? Unless you are aware of an alternative habitat, that is not a viable proposal. Why invade now? Why not before? We had not completed our primary research. We would have been unprepared. You're not giving me straight answers. Just a load of bullshit. You hear the words. But your mind is too limited to discern the truth behind them. Why did you call me? What do you want from me? You are the second humanoid anomaly. If anyone could understand, it would be you. The fuck? You could ask a thousand more questions, and I could answer them all. And yet your mind would not apprehend this knowledge without the one answer to every question. And what's that? Who we are, where we come from, where we are going, and how much time we have left is all at the will of the singularity. It is the source. It is our god. It is the elix. And it will be the end of us all. More damn riddles. How am I supposed to understand anything if everything you say just raises more questions? Your thoughts are tied in knots. When really, it's all so simple. Let me explain it to you from the very beginning. First, there was desire, a shared obsession for eternal life. We were not the only ones with such a desire. There was another, a scientist and inventor, making his name at what was then called the Infinite Skies Corporation. You're talking about Dawkins. It was he who invented the formula for immortality. He who discovered the Singularity. A celestial body with the necessary laboratory conditions, many light years away. And so the inventor sent a delegation of scientists there, so that they could make his elixir of life a reality. And they succeeded. The first elix was created. But the inventor was still here on Nagalon. If he was to remain alive for the many decades of research ahead, he would need the first derivative of the Elix brought to him. And so the comet became the emissary of this miracle, delivering both the Elix and the cataclysm that would reduce the planet to ashes. The rest of Magellan's story, you wrote yourself. Huh. I thought it must have been something like that. Callahan wasn't the only spacecraft sent to save mankind from the comet. There was a second one, carrying a group of scientists. And its name was Cassandra. That's who you are, isn't it? You're the scientist Dawkins sent in search of eternal life. When I first heard what you called yourselves, it sounded like sky ants. But you're not insects. You're not even beings from another planet. 
You're scientists. And you risked everything, heading into the sky in search of the very essence of life. Everything that's happened to our world over the last two centuries, it's because of you. You developed Elix and brought it here. My name was once Taylor, but many years of metamorphosis and cellular renewal turned me into something else. Turned us all into something unique. We became the Skyans. I am Teyak now, the guardian of Betara. One of those who will improve Megalon. You call what you do improving? Killing everything and everyone and building your own world? You've got another word for that. Genocide. Those who are worthy will be transformed. All others are expendable. Telling me this. What do you want? You are the second humanoid anomaly. You are a DNA replicant of Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins, or Deus, as he is known among Skyans. You have a direct connection to him. Of all living humans, you must know where he is. As it happens, I have no idea where Dawkins is now. But... Why is he so important to you? Those of us who left in the Cassandra Space Shuttle risked our lives and had to live in open space for decades. Dawkins only had one job. He was to prepare this planet for our return with the first derivative of the Elix we sent him. But when we finally received word from him and returned, well, so much has gone wrong with this planet in our absence. What was it like being shot into the sky like that? We are immortal. We can do things the rest of humanity can't even dream are possible. But it has come at a high cost. After centuries near the singularity, developing the Elix, we began to change. But we came to an even more devastating realization. The singularity was moving. Slowly at first, then faster and faster. Even the most hardened skeptics could no longer deny what we had started to suspect. You see, the Elix was not just made near the Singularity. Many of the components were actually taken from it. Does that mean...? Yes. The Elix is part of the Singularity. And it... It wants it back. That thing... It's on its way here? You stole part of its essence and now... It's coming to take it back, to reunite with the Elix. Is that what you're saying? Your mind is beginning to see now, to understand. So you want to make Dawkins pay for not preparing the planet for you. But that's not the whole story, is it? You don't understand why I still resist your infection, do you? Cassandra's computer told me. My superhuman willpower is a mystery. And you're starting to realize I could be dangerous to you. How am I doing so far? You see much. So you want to drag me off to your labs and tie me to one of your dissection tables? Of course. And since I'm Dawkins' DNA replicant, you think I must have the same abilities he does. So take me apart, and you learn all about him, too. Since you seem to understand everything so clearly, there's no need to prolong things. If you can't help us find him, this conversation is over. Dawkins won't be able to hide forever. Yeah, sure, whatever. 
Just one more thing. Enough questions. It is time to study your anomaly. We have very little time before the singularity arrives. We must be prepared. That means expanding our knowledge of mutability. And your DNA could save us many years of research. Now, make your way to one of our research cells. You cannot win the battle with the new Elix anyway. Sooner or later, you will become one of us. Then why are you so eager to take me apart? You don't know shit. Anyway, even if it does come to that, It'll be my decision, not yours. Enough! We need to finish this now! Over my dead body. If that is how it must be... You shouldn't have come here! <laughs> he summoned are haunting him, it disappears. This has to stop. For good. My drone needs to find him. I must put an end to his plans.
I'm starting to develop the ability to control it. I'm becoming one with the Dark Elix and its properties, just as the Sky Ants feared. Dawkins, I will find you, and I will finish this. What about Dawkins? Can you locate him? Negative. Dawkins outside sensor range. Stay alert. We need to find that son of a bitch. Stand by. Rumor has it that your brother Oleg doesn't get on with some of the Morcons in the grotto. Not your concern, outsider. There's a reason Oleg is known as the Black Knight. He revels in brutality and destruction. When he can't find a way to relieve the pressure, he tends to get... restless. We meet occasionally, but he avoids the grotto entirely these days. Too many poachers... Too many gullible fools. He prefers to hunt targets on the outside, with considerable success. Your brother Oleg and his troops have lent their aid to the Bastion. Are you serious? Well, you must have made quite an impression. Your brother Oleg is going to lend his strength to the Sixth Power. Is that so? That surprises me. How did you manage that? I have my ways. <laughs> you think yourself enigmatic. Well, I'm glad to hear one of my people is keeping an eye on you. What do your agents report about the neighboring territories? Well, there are more Alb mutants around than usual. We don't know what the Albs are planning. They've unleashed their creatures. And they're only going for the Morcons? Not at all. It seems they war against all of the free people. Where in particular? Well, they've appeared in parts of Caracas. There are hordes in Ignodon, of all places. It seems the Albs are concentrating their defense within their own territory. They've even been sighted in Marco. It's as if they want to make it difficult for anyone to get into Sky and territory. We don't want the grotto overrun before we achieve our goal. I suggest you take a look. If I may make a suggestion, be sure to give Oleg something to mangle. Too long spent sitting around makes him grouchy.
Water detected. Recommend avoiding contact. What would happen if I already stepped in the sludge? Very simple as possible. Mild discomfort. Flash. <laughs> 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 Dolphins detected near Deltara former. Damn it! We're too late. Skyon's already got him. I don't know what they've got planned for him in Deltara, but whatever it is, it won't be good for us. Immediate intervention recommended. Risk of compromise 98.6%. Yeah, you're right. We gotta drag Dawkins out of there before the Skyon squeeze everything out of him. Acknowledged. <laughs> Warning. Hostile creatures with low IQ detected in the area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rift. Finally. I thought I'd never find you. 
Jax, you're here. You came to save my life? Actually, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Should I ram my gun down your throat now or after you explain things? <sighs> I see. I take it you've spoken to the Skyans. Did you really think you'd keep your story secret forever? No, but I hoped I'd get the chance to explain everything to you before the invaders did. You've had plenty of chances. If things hadn't turned out this way, you probably would have taken the secret to your grave. Maybe you're right, but perhaps we should get out of here before... You're not going anywhere. Not until you tell me everything you've done. To me, to humanity. Well, seems I don't have much choice. All right, let's talk about it if we must. When did you find out about the comet heading for Magalon? Was it before or after you started planning to live forever? The comet wasn't the beginning. I first sighted it five years before it crashed here. But even before that, years before, when I was still a young man, I observed a much more significant phenomenon in the sky. The singularity. All my research, all the observations, all the calculations, they all told me this was an incredible discovery. It was the answer to all the questions humanity had ever asked, and more, much more than that. But I didn't have the resources then to fathom its true nature. Then, years later, when the Infinite Skies Corporation was founded, I had my chance. Unlimited resources, everything I needed, and still, I couldn't really comprehend what I was seeing. It seemed to turn all the laws of physics, all the laws of nature, on their head. The results of my research and the lessons I learned from the Singularity's behavior brought me fame and the recognition of my colleagues. But even when many of them tried to denounce me, I continued my research, though I soon reached the limits of what I could learn. How did you create Elix? I didn't. It was there all along, in the Singularity itself. Elix is a part of it. It just needed to be modified and adapted to humans. I was getting old then, increasingly aware of my mortality. I realized I would never reap the rewards of my work if I didn't... Find a way to live forever. Yes. Even there, the Singularity helped me set the wheels in motion. But I couldn't do it down here on Magalon. I had to go up to the Singularity itself. It was the only place with the right conditions. But the journey would have taken far too long. I needed a faster way. A technology you've seen for yourself. It's been a feature of the skies for years, ever since the war against the Alms. You mean the strange ring the hybrid created? Correct. An artificial wormhole. A bridge from this world to another. I sent a group of scientists through it. They came back more than 160 years later as highly developed, immortal beings. Why didn't you go yourself? Why leave it to others? Because of the comet. This rock, this tremendous destructive force on a collision course with our world. I was afraid if I went with them, we'd return to a planet reduced to rubble and dust. And that's exactly what happened. You didn't stop it whether you were here or on the other side of the galaxy. It wasn't a question of whether it would hit Magalon. The question was whether humanity would survive. You could have saved the planet. You could have changed the comet's course with your spacecraft. I tried. I was the one who started projects like Cassandra and Callahan. But when panic breaks out, well, few people are willing to pull together for a common cause. How did the first Elix get into the comet? My Cassandra scientists had to hurry once they reached the Singularity. They quickly had their first success. They sent Blue Elix back to us on a carrier rocket. But soon after launch, it became clear it would never reach Magalon. A fatal miscalculation they could do nothing to correct. But the rocket could reach the comet that was fast approaching the planet. So they steered it onto its path, and soon the Elix was here and my work could begin. Your work to prolong your miserable life at the expense of millions of other lives. Yes, 
A tragedy, I admit. How did you manage to smuggle all those scientists aboard Cassandra without anyone realizing it? At first, nobody knew anything about the comet or any spacecraft. Of course, once things were in the open, I was forced to share my research with everyone. Research that might save a lot of lives, maybe all of them. But Cassandra was to be my project. I kept it secret to make sure it didn't suffer the same fate as Callahan. All people did was argue, blaming mistakes on each other. I couldn't allow that to happen with Cassandra. So... So you got rid of anyone who could have talked about it, right? It was a dark time. Not one I'm proud of. Your scientists, or whatever they are now, spoke of the singularity as if it were a god. Isn't it? It contains secrets that no one, not even I, could ever discover. Not in a thousand lifetimes of research. It gives eternal life. It creates new life forms from nothing. It decides whether we all live or die. Principal Teak says it's moving towards us. It could hit us at any moment. And from what you're telling me, this is nothing like a simple comet. This will destroy us all. So what is it, if not pure divinity? Stop fucking with me. How do we stop it, genius? The Skyans have been set on their path from the very beginning. It's this plan that drives them. It's their reason for being. The reason anyone who gets in its way is destroyed. Oh yeah? So what is this plan? All in good time, Jax. We need to survive this war before we can move on to the next one. What about the DNA replication? Why did you share your genes with me? I'd been trying to prepare the planet for the arrival of the Skyans for years. That's what the Alves and their directive were for. And for a while it was working. But once the Albs set up the first converter in the lands of the Free People, the tide turned. The hybrid, that thing I was a part of once, sensed resistance among the Albs. There were a lot of skeptics and even saboteurs, especially among the technicians. The foundation of a hostile group, the Separatists, became inevitable. But there you were, a highly effective and confident commander. Even then, your willpower was a thing to behold. I replicated my own DNA with that of the owl with the greatest mental strength I could find to protect myself and my legacy. It was a backup, if you will. Being in the hybrid capsule prevented me from doing anything as mundane as procreating. That explains your interest in my son. But you won't be going near him again. I'll make sure of that. After the replication, your willpower became even stronger. You were the only one who could resist being promoted to Alexeter. Even implanting a control chip in your head had little effect. That's one reason I chose you to establish and lead the Sixth Power. If anyone can stop the Skyans, it's you. Where does this great willpower come from? What did you do to me that even the Skyans don't understand? The gifts to exercise great power over Elix are rooted in the configuration and harmonies of an individual's DNA. And willpower is one of these gifts. There are others, such as superhuman creativity or imagination. Or superhuman strategic and mathematical problem solving. You and I are not just the humanoid anomalies the Skyans would have us believe. We are Elix Elementals, my friend. Our gifts give us the power to shape both ourselves and the fate of the world. Why the sixth power? Why so much effort? Because the Skyans want to level the planet, and I no longer have the power to stop them. I'm not one of them anymore. I'm their enemy. Who can blame them for wanting you dead? All these elaborate schemes, all that effort, for such a long time. Well, that's the price of eternal life. And I'm paying it now. And so is everyone else, you bastard. You're nothing but a murderer. Maybe. But the Skyanids are far worse. Just think of the sheer scale of what they're doing. And what about what we did in those converters? Squeezing the Elix out of people. What is it you want, Jax? Justice? World peace? 
What's that compared to standing before God and being granted eternal life? You've done nothing but lie and manipulate me. Well, I'm done. The super soldier you bred to serve you quits right here and now. There's no need for us to be at odds, Jax. Of course there is. It's the only way I'll ever be free. Fine, if that's the way you want it. Just don't expect me to give up without a fight. If I win, I promise to honor your legacy. Your work will not have been in vain. Enough talking. Let's end this now. As you wish. Big mistake! Keep going. Otherwise, there'll be nothing left to fight for.